So looking at this sample, solve the equation d equals 9 times pi times a times j for a. So again, in a lot of your technical classes, it's a good idea to have the ability to manip manipulate the equation to create a new formula. So since I'm solving for a, I would like to rewrite the, the equation as 9 pi a j on the left side and the big D on the right side. Now, to solve for A, we have, all we have to do is use the property of equality. To get A by itself, notice that everything is connected by to the A by multiplication. So essentially, 9 pi J times A equals D. The 9 pi J is actually considered a, a coefficient, if you will, since it's all connected by multiplication. So it's unusual. Because coefficients don't necessarily have to be numbers, but to keep it simple at first, we've just been calling coefficients numbers. But as we move up higher in math, these coefficients can be about anything we want them to be. So what I want to do is I want to make this 9 pi j turn into a 1. So if I just divide it by itself, 9 pi j, that will divide out. But I also have to do this to the other side, 9 pi j. By doing so, the A now is by itself, and we're left with this D on this other side and this 9 pi J in the denominator. And since there's nothing really to divide out, there's no like factors in the numerator and denominator, I can't reduce that fraction. It would stay as is. So that would be my new formula. So that would be your solution to that uh, problem.